Let's imagine that you're taking your vehicle in for a routine service. Everything seems fine, but the mechanic tells you there's a problem with the cooling system. You probably ask questions to better understand what's happening. How bad is the problem? What could happen if it's not repaired? When it comes to your health, it should be no different. And it comes down to this. Be your own health advocate. 30% of our health depends on managing behaviors like diet, exercise, and smoking. And a smaller percentage depends on the healthcare system. So think about common chronic conditions like heart disease, stroke, cancer, type 2 diabetes, and obesity. Simply eliminating a poor diet, physical inactivity, or smoking from your life would prevent 80% of heart disease and stroke and 40% of cancer. And how do we know these things work? Look no farther than blue zones around the world where people consistently live measurably longer lives. Blue Zone studies have revealed nine lessons that, put together, help us live longer, happier, and healthier. But being your own advocate doesn't stop when you walk into a healthcare center. Healthcare providers are highly educated and strive for the best outcome for every patient they serve. But you have a role to play too. Being your own health advocate helps avoid the silent killers. So what can you do? If you take medication, bring a clear printed list of your medications, including details about why you take them, when you take them, and what they're for to every medical appointment. Doing this helps prevent polypharmacy, which is taking multiple medications to treat the same issue. If a health concern means you need a new medication, ask your provider if there are safer, non-pharmacologic alternatives or if it will result in duplicate side effects of other medications. If you're 70 or older and require a hospital visit, being your own health advocate carries even greater importance. If you're hospitalized, you have a 23% greater risk of being unable to return home and require nursing care. Add to that the fact that 34% of people who are hospitalized saw a functional decline in health that resulted in readmission. So what can you do while you're hospitalized? Communicate your healthcare goals with your providers. Tell them what you hope to see happen as a result of your care. Get mobile. You lose about 10% of your muscle mass for every three days you're immobile. So get moving as soon as you're able to help reduce your stay. And finally, actively listen to your doctors and nurses. One study showed that patients can forget 40 to 80% of what doctors and nurses tell them, even when they appear to be actively listening. Have someone with you to take notes about what they're saying, and don't interrupt. So it comes down to you. Manage chronic conditions, be mindful of your medications, and communicate your health goals. Get mobile and actively listen during hospital stays to be your own health advocate so we can all live longer, healthier lives.